elections in the state of Assam has been in the limelight after a long time, most probably. And this is so because it seems to be the next annexable state by the BJP. Uh, Tarun Gogoi, the chief minister of the Congress-led government there, faces a heavy anti-incumbency of three conservative towns. The Congress government there also faces various cases of corruption and maladministration. All these factors give the BJP a good chance of coming to power there. But the BJP too on its part has made various blunders. The primary among them being the decision to grant citizenship to the Hindu immigrants from Bangladesh, um, which, is, uh, which is against the very essence of the fight, of fight against illegal immigration in the state. And uh, again, in the 2014 elections, uh, Narendra Modi has said that uh, once the BJP came to power in the centre, um, all the illegal immigrants from Bangladesh would have to leave Assam. But this has never been the case, and to be honest, it will not never be the case. Again, um, regarding the Lower Suban City Dam, um, pre-2014 elections, BJP was against it. But once it came to power, it is slowly uh, trying to go ahead with the completion of the project. Again, another huge turn was the decision uh, regarding the land swap deal. Pre-2014 elections, BJP was against the land swap treaty between India and Bangladesh to ten nail. But once it came to power, it has laid a little bell in the parliament and passed it to get the land swap deal operational. So all these uh, U-turns uh, have been uh, the issue which uh, BJP has uh, had, had been answerable to the people of Assam. So, but despite all these, um, that uh, BJP seems to be in a good position this time. Um, more so after winning seven seats out of 14 in the last general elections. Again, uh, it seems more confident after um, coming in alliance with the with the Ahom Ganapurikhat, the AGP, and the um, Borland People's Front. Ahom Ganapurikhat, uh, despite being in ruins, um, would ensure that the uh, anti-Congress vote don't get split up. The BPF um, and the BPF is almost sure of retaining its seats in the in borderland areas uh, and there's another factor that um, there has been dissent in the congress um, once blue-eyed boy of Tarun uh, of Gogo in the second in command of the congress there Himanta Vishwa Sarma has um, <coughs> dissented and he went to the BJP um, taking along with him um, more MLAs uh, so the, all these factors uh, have been are against the Congress.